Well, compared to our grandparents, we are much more materialistic. Household items, very easy and cheap to replace rather than repair. And there are so many gadgets. Professional organiser, speaker and writer Rachel King believes that our clutter actually prevents us from being as productive as we could be. Welcome, Rachel. Thank you. You are not wrong there. First up, why does clutter make us unproductive? Well, there's a lot of truth to the phrase messy house, messy mind. Oh. And I think our clutter distracts us, it stresses us out, it consumes our time and energy. And I think when we can pair that back, when we can simplify, it naturally gives us more headspace to think and to, to simplify and be more productive. Now you had a big throw out recently, didn't you? I did. So how did you go about it? Well, my mantra for decluttering is a quote by William Morris. He's an architect and designer, and he says, have nothing in your home that you do not know to be useful or believe to be beautiful. And I basically went through each item and said, is this useful to me now, not might be one day, or is it beautiful? And if it wasn't, it was out. Okay, well, what about things like charges for devices? Because I've got a basket of charges, <laughs> but they might be useful because I'm not sure what they You're go with. Sure, yeah, well, if you haven't used them for the last six months, you can probably get rid of them. Okay, so I can probably throw out my old handspring you visor organizers from 2004? Yeah. yeah, you should probably not need a basket of charges, maybe just one beside the bed would be enough. But they might be vintage now, my old, well, they my might, old, my old might be. Now. You could try and, try and take them to the museum, see what they See, this is the problem I have. So how did it make you feel when you had this big clean-up? Well, it's, it's amazing, the sense of freedom you get. I mean, people often cite the whole, what if I throw out something I might use one day? But I think, for me, the benefit of owning less far outweighs the cost of the odd inconvenience that you got rid of something that you wish you'd kept. Have you had any of those moments where you have had those issues where you've gone, oh, why did I throw yeah, that out? Yeah, I had a dress that I wish oh, I'd kept. There we go, before and after on screen right now. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, that's not my wardrobe. It's a friend, <laughs> a friend who I helped declutter. As you can see, it's oh, changed. Oh, beautiful. Changed. <laughs> Um, I did have a dress I got rid of and I felt frustrated from time to time and every now and again I still think about it. But again, like I said, the benefit of owning this, it's just the sense of freedom and the sense of headspace it gives you far outweighs any inconvenience. See, I have a real problem with wardrobe things because I always think, what happens if I go to an 80s party <laughs> and I need those clothes or well, I need to spray paint those old boot, boots you could, silver? You could use the op shop as your storage facility for your 80s clothes and you could always go back to the op shop and get yourself an outfit. Okay, that's actually probably very wise advice. I do see what you're talking about there. Mine was definitely the before picture then of that wardrobe. <laughs> uh, actually, add a bit more as well. Oh well talk so, to me afterwards. So what about the stuff that we do need to keep? Can you give me some tips on how to organise that? Mm, well, there's no magic bullet for if you have too much stuff. There's going to be no organising solution in the world that will work. Baskets? So, I mean, baskets are great, but my number one tip is to get rid of probably most of what you have in your house because once you're organising less, it falls into place. You'll probably find you've got more than enough baskets. If you declutter a whole lot of stuff, the baskets you have will probably be fine. And so my only tip for once you've done your declutter is it's very simple but store like with like keep all your stationary supplies together keep your coats in the same cupboard don't have them all over the show um, okay well that lasts generally for me in about a week in my house I've had a <laughs> preliminary declutter and now I need the proper declutter so I think I'm need to go, going to need to get you around to sort Sounds me out good. entirely uh, thank you so much Rachel been a pleasure and if you want to check out more tips from Rachel go and have a look at her website which is lifeedit.co.nz